What's up guys? Hey, it's been a while since I've made a video and it's been for good reason. Wanna know what the reason is? Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, right there. 750 Ti, paired with 32 gigs of RAM, 9900K, overclocked to 5 gigahertz, liquid water cooling, Meshify C case. 3440 ultra wide monitor. So you need some serious hardware to run that kind of stuff, right? You can't just run some piece of card. So I've been waiting for my 3080 to come in and finally, since September, I've been waiting on back order, it finally showed up today. Oh my God. So there it is in all its glory, RTX 3080 EVGA XC3. Why did I get the XC3? Because it's the smallest card other than the Founders Edition. Can't really get the Founders Edition in Canada, so this is the next best thing. Measuring at 285 millimeters, it's the only card that can actually fit inside my case. However, with the Meshify C and a front-mounted AIO, I've got about 0.000001 millimeters of clearance on this. Why? because that's what the case supports. With a 30 millimeter rad and 25 millimeter fans installed, I have 285 millimeters of clearance, and guess what? That card has 285 millimeters of clearance. So let's find out if this damn thing fits in there, and I can finally pull that piece of crap 750Ti out. So guys, it actually fit. I can't freaking believe it. Oh my God, it actually fit. Look at the amount of space left in there. Hold on a second, I gotta get you some light. Look at that, I mean, that's amazing. Freaking fun, fucking freaking freaking fantastic. Freaking fantastic, it fit. What more could I ask for? It fit in the case. Thermals, that's another question. I guess we'll find out later on.
Hey guys, what's up? We're back. Uh, GPU fit inside the case. Somehow my hair is shorter. I don't know, maybe it got caught in the fan. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. What's important is the GPU fit inside the Meshify C with plenty of room. Thermals were okay. As you can see, I hit a maximum of about 71 degrees. That is with a slight underclock or under vault, as I should say, using MSI Afterburner. You can find lots of tutorials on YouTube or just on any other subreddits. You'll find information on how low you can go. You're going to have to try. Basically, I would start with around 850 millivolts, around 1850 megahertz, and start working your way up and adjusting the megahertz and the voltage until you can hit something stable. Play all the games that you're normally going to play and just see what you can get. Um, it's a requirement in this case because the thermals on stock settings did get way too hot. I was hitting about 80, 80 degrees, 81 degrees at some point. So, I mean, for me, 1920 megahertz at 8, I think it was about uh, 869 millivolts was perfectly stable. I was able to run all sorts of different games. No crashing, no stalling, no nothing, no artifacting nothing so play with it and you'll find yourself your sweet spot and there you go a giant gpu fit inside of a small case thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave me a subscribe a like a comment down below it could really help my channel get higher up than it is at where it is right now so anything you can do would be appreciated i'll catch you guys in the next video